Well, uh, I have to tell you a quick story between me ah. and Paul Augustine Cardinal Meyer. In the fall of 1990, <clears throat> and we sat there and we were looking at each other across a very small table, and I said, Eminence, I have to ask you this question. What the hell with this book of blessings? And he looked at me. I said, we have a book of blessings this new book, which supposedly replaces the Collectio Rituum or the Rituale Romanum, and it blesses nothing. It blesses the people using things. You look at all the prayers, it doesn't bless a rosary. It'll bless the person who's using the rosary. It doesn't bless bread. It blesses the pe person who's eating the bread. I said, this is Protestant. This is not Catholic. And he got very excited, and he said, F Father, Father, you, you are right. You're right. I said, but eminence you used to be in charge of the Congregation for the Sacraments. You're the one who signed this book into existence. He said, it was already prepared. It was on my desk waiting for me, so I just signed it. I said, Eminence, how could you sign a book that is not Catholic? How could you do this? And he said, well, they were putting pressure on me, so I did it. And then he looked, he said, but don't worry. The Holy Father, Pope John Paul II, refuses to use it. Think about that, gentlemen. Think about that. A book is promulgated that is not Catholic, that doesn't bless a damn thing. It's not Catholic. That doesn't bless a damn thing. It blesses nothing. And the Pope refuses to use it, but you priests are using it. That story that leads you now into my unpopular opinion. God can do whatever he wants. In the spiritual realm, absolutely. But humanly speaking... If Archbishop Marcel Lefebvre had not consecrated those four bishops, we would not have the Latin Mass today. 